This is the McMurdo's family home in Scotland. There's Dad. Grandpa. And Alistair and Fiona. And here's the latest addition to the household. A smart speaker. Does your family have a smart speaker like this? Maybe you've used Alexa, Siri or Google Assistant. Have you thought about how it works? What makes a smart speaker truly smart? Let's see what the McMurdo family knows about this technology. Alexa, what is the capital of Sweden? The capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Who are you talking to, Alistair? It's an Amazon Echo. It's my smart speaker. I asked Dad to get one so I can learn more about artificial intelligence. I've been hearing a lot about AI. My pal Isla has a Nest Hub and Dan's dad has an Apple HomePod. They're made by different companies, but they're all smart speakers you can talk to. Oh, I love a gadget. Every smart speaker uses a technology called artificial intelligence. That's what makes it seem smart. Artificial intelligence? I thought that was robots. Aye, they'll be taking over the world. The robots are coming. I'll even be reading my book soon. It's really useful, Grandpa. The speaker uses AI to check what the weather will be like, so you don't get soaked going through your messages. It even knows what music I like. Watch this. Alexa, play my favourite song. <laughs> Alexa, stop. AI is everywhere. AI-supported technology is what chooses what videos we see when we open YouTube, or it picks the next song on our Spotify playlist. But it's not just for fun. AI technology can help doctors make better and faster diagnoses when we are ill. It translates entire sentences from other languages in seconds. AI technology can look at an image of a plant and recognise the species. Seems pretty smart, right? So are smart speakers really smart? How did they learn everything? Did someone have to tell them all the facts and information? They don't actually look up all the facts and information and put in the smart speakers. The software engineers program the smart speakers to look up the information when they need it. Like when you do a Google search? Yeah, a bit like that. It can access the information and tell us what it found, but it might not always give you the right answer. The answer might be inaccurate or out of date. Or it misunderstands you. Or answers a different question. I've seen it do that before. Or maybe it just doesn't have the information to answer the question at all. Fiona's right. Smart speakers have been programmed to quickly look up the information. Smart speakers seem smart, but they can quickly understand the questions that we ask them. You know, they can find the recipes online, or they can play the next music track, or they can check the weather in an instant. They do that by quickly looking up the information online and then repeating this information back to us. But they don't actually understand what the facts actually mean. Not like the same way that we would. As humans, we're intelligent in a different way. It's not about memorising facts. You know, we're creative. We can think of new ways to solve problems and understand how facts fit together. Smart speakers aren't very good at that sort of thing. So smart speakers might seem smart, but they're not smart in the same way that we are. 